Hey guys, Fahad Zaman here. Today we are going to review ProcessOn. ProcessOn is an online diagramming platform dedicated to providing the best diagramming experience. You can easily create a variety of diagrams such as flowcharts, mind maps, mockups, UML, etc. So the diagrams can help us better understand and memorize things that are abstract and obscure. It will be a nice idea to use a diagram rather than lots of words when you explain something complicated to others. As you know, there is a saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. It means complex ideas sometimes can be conveyed by a single image. In the same way, a diagram can convey the main points more effectively than a more verbal description. So ProcessOn is a web-based software. You don't need to download or install it. Also, since it's an online service, you can use it on all desktop platforms, Mac, Windows, Linux, all you need is a browser. The link is available in the video description. ProcessOn has a free plan for individuals. Everyone can sign up and use it for free. You will find template page where you can pick up your favorite templates. There are basically two kinds of diagrams editors. One is named flowchart designer and the other is named mind map designer. With flowchart designer, you can easily create most kinds of diagrams such as flowcharts, UML, BPMN, network and so on. Once you find a template that you want to create, click on the template thumbnail. Then you will be redirected to the workspace where you can edit and change the template as you like. It's very easy to use. Just drag and drop to make a diagram. All the operations on ProcessOn are simple and initiative. We also have a mind map designer. Most of competitive products only have one built-in designer, whereas ProcessOn has two kinds of designers, flowchart and mind map. You can use the mind map for brainstorming, planning, program solving, studying, info presenting, note taking, etc. You can also choose the templates or create a new one. To add the main topic, select the center rectangular and press the enter button. To add the subtopic, you need to select the main topic and press the tab button. So if you want to change the design of your mind map, you can choose the design you want. You can also change structure style in your mind map. Click the structure style button and choose the desired one in the drop down menu. You can also create the relationship between each task. You can also check the revision history. All the changes to the diagrams can be saved automatically and you can revert to a historical version at any time. You can also invite friends or colleagues to collaborate with you and edit the diagram together. 
To involve multiple users into your project, just go to the collaborate option. Enter the email of the person. Change the permission level and then click on send invitation. Then they can log in using their account and directly join you into the mind map project. You can also share your diagrams with others via a simple link. They can just open it in a browser, no installation required. So if you want, you can also put a password on it. So that's all for now. I hope this video was helpful for you. Give this video a like and share it with your friends. Comment down below if you have any question. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.